Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel, Peter Likes Books. And I have been planning on doing my November TBR for like three days now, but first, I must get done reviewing my books that I read during Spookathon. So I think this is my third book review of books that I read during Spookathon, and today, I'm going to be reviewing Graveyard Shakes by Laura Terry. It is a scholastic book. Um, and I'm really excited to do this review. I have lots of things I want to talk about on my TBR. I have audiobooks. I have the Harry Potter uh, read-along that I'm doing. I have Peter's Book Club, which if you want to join, uh, go below. The link is down there for the Goodreads group. And uh, we are currently reading Franny and Zoe by J.D. Salinger. So anyway, okay, let's get right into this. And this will not be a long book review because... Uh, there's just not a lot to say. It was a very short book. I read it literally in like an hour and a half, two hours over two days. And, um, but it's kind of fantastic, honestly. And, uh, I am trying to review every book that I read for 2018, which is right now. I have like 20 books to read to reach where I was last year. So I don't know how I'm going to do that. I'm going to have to go buy a bunch of Goosebumps books or something. I have a bunch in the garage, but I'm going to have to read a bunch just to get my goal met. But that's not how you do it, is it? Okay. So, Graveyard Shakes by Laura Terry was my uh, book with pictures in it that I read for, um, for a Spookathon, okay? I saw this at Meijer, which is like a Walmart or a Target if you've never been there before. And I, oh, I just saw it sitting there and it was like in the, all the Halloween book sections. And I thought, oh, this is kind of cute. And if you look on the cover of it, the cover is adorable. It's got the two sisters and then this ghost, okay? Which is, his name is Little Ghost. And then it has a graveyard and it's called Graveyard Shakes by Laura Terry. So let me read you the back of it. Uh, Keisha and Victoria are sisters and scholarship students at a private boarding school. While Victoria tries to fit in, Keisha is unapologetic about her quirks, even though their classmates tease her. After a big fight, Keisha runs away from school, and when Victoria goes looking for her, she, actu she accidentally tumbles into the underworld of a nearby graveyard. It is um, inhabited by ghost schools and a man named Nicola, who is preparing a sinister spell that's missing one key ingredient. Victoria uh, teams up with adorable little ghost and Nicola, Nicola's kind-hearted son, and together they search for Keisha. They must find her before she becomes Nicola's next victim. Okay, this book is so fantastic. Now, let me tell you, I gave it doesn't have very many reviews on Goodreads, which kind of is uh, unbelievable to me. I don't know what year it came out. Let me look. Uh, 2017, so it's a year old, and it, I think it had less than a thousand reviews on it. It's fantastic. Like, if you're a mother and you're watching this video or a father, or you got little brothers and sisters or whatever, get this book, okay? Let me show you. It is a graphic novel for, like, elementary school kids. It is so good. I sat down, and it's, like, the cartoons are really great, too. I sat down and read this. Like, I read an hour sitting on the couch. It just took, I mean, 100 pages, like, literally in less than an hour. And then the next day, I finished it. It's so good. Um, here, I'll read you a little bit about uh, 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 Laura Terry. After a childhood misspent raising pigs, selling hot dogs, and drawing princesses, Laura Terry ran away to the relative splendor of an all-girls boarding school and wore many shades of plaid. She then graduated from both Pratt Institute and the Center for Cartoon Studies and self-published a member, a number of mini comics. Yeah, I need my readers on. Now Laura spends her days living and working in Brooklyn with her poodle muffin. This is, you guys, this is such a great book. Okay. So I have to tell you, the two sisters are very, very different. Victoria is like this, she's like the older of the two, and she wants to be like, I think, like the soccer team, and she wants people to like her, and she's like, hey, hey, why don't you guys like me? Whereas Keisha is like crazy hair, it's always messy, and she doesn't really give a shit. Oh, oh excuse me. She doesn't really care, okay? Boys and girls don't cuss, it's bad. But she doesn't really care at all, right? Um, that she... Uh, doesn't fit in. And she almost kind of like likes the idea that she doesn't fit in. And her sister's signing her up for like all of these like programs like chamber orchestra because she can play the piano and all this kind of stuff. She's like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do any part of it. And so the reason that the book is so fantastic. Now I will tell you, I gave it four out of five stars because it is a children's graphic novel. I'm sorry. It doesn't hold up to books like Colton Whitehead's <laughs> Underground Railroad. It just doesn't. Sorry, Laura. Um, but I mean, it is fantastic. So if I was going to compare it to other books of elementary school value that I have read, let's say, in the last two to three years, I would give this book um, probably like a 4.8 out of 5. It was that fantastic. It was that enjoyable to read. It was really fun, even as an adult. It would be a great book to read with your kids, you know. And the thing is, is that there's a lot of great lessons in it. And I want to show you at the very end. I don't, I don't know that I should even show you this, but I'm going to because I don't want to spoil it for you. But there is this one thing at the very end. 
So Victoria kind of comes full circle, right? And she got, and so does Keisha. Keisha kind of fits in a little bit. I won't tell you how, but she's got like some friends and they do something at the end. But Victoria at the end is kind of like, because these girls, there's mean girls in this book, right? And so she's kind of like over it. So then it shows at the very end and it says seven months later. And here's Victoria looking out the window. And then here she is and she's sewing something on her bed. And then you can see she's sewing this patch of a skull on the back of her uh, jacket. And then she's got a safety pin and she puts safety pins. She's real punk. This one, she is punk straight up. She's listening to probably Sid Vicious and all that kind of stuff. So anyway... <laughs> Sonic Youth back in the day. This is dating me, okay? This was me. I was Victoria back in the day. I was. I had uh, safety pins and everything, and I was listening to the Smiths and the Cure and all kinds of madnesses. Okay, so there she is. She's got her bag, and it's got, like, buttons on it and stuff, and she leaves. And then this girl right here, this is one of the mean girls, you see? She says, hey, Victoria. And uh, she goes, nice blazer. And she has this look on her face, and her face like this. She's real mean. She goes, nice blazer. And Victoria turns and she's like, real, she's like, I'm over you. I am so confident now. And she says, actually, it is a really awesome blazer. And I don't appreciate the sarcasm. Because, <laughs> of course, second graders know what sarcasm means. And then she walks on. I love that so much. <laughs> snooty. Anyway, you guys, you've got to go check this book out. It's fantastic. It's called Graveyard Shakes. I hope they have it at your library. It is really that fun. You, excuse me. You could probably even... I'm laughing so hard. I'm choking. You could probably even just sit there in the library and read it in like an hour. It's really that short. I think it's like... It doesn't say how many pages it is. It's like 203 or 4 pages. I don't know. And if you want to use it for a uh, read-a-thon, it works real well for that, too. It's 204 pages, and it's fantastic. And I can't wait to see more from Laura Terry. This was really good. So, anyway, um, I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.